Nine, eight, put, had about 10 more horse, but other than that, one year. It's just like the C5F, all of them the same, no matter if it's six years difference. You, know, they're the you, same. Can take, you can take the hood off one, put it on the other. Yep, they all, and then you go to the C6 and everything changes yeah. then, they yeah. change it up. Same thing. Tell you what, good looking vehicle, appreciate you being on the show. Right, we'll be right you. back. Two prowlers, man, what is it? The, the white one was his drive to work car. Huh. Wow. We'll be right back. You know, if you have a vehicle, one time or another, you're going to need auto parts. Talladega Auto Parts right there on Battle Street in Talladega has all new auto parts for any types of vehicle. Also, Hyman Used Auto Parts in Talladega has over 2,000 vehicles, and you can find about anything you need for any type of vehicle right there at Hyman's. Give them a call today at 362-0705 at Hyman's or 362-1770 at Talladega Auto Parts. Also, St. Clair County. Talladega County, Hammonds also has record service. Give them a call today. When you have an accident and your car breaks down the road, you have so much on your mind, you don't know where to turn. I've got your answer. Skinner's Body Shop and Record Service here in Oxford, Alabama has 24-hour towing seven days a week. They'll be there when you need them. Also, remember when you do have that unexpected accident, you can choose the body shop of your choice to repair your vehicle. And the Skinner name has been known for professionalism and attention to detail for service for their customers for over 45 years. So stop by or call Skinner's Body Shop today. Tell them Barry Miller sent you by. You know, a lot of people, when you say moldy carpet, they don't know what you're talking about. Auto Custom Carpet right here on Noble Street, downtown Anniston. Ken Hale and his staff, they have moldy carpet for your vehicle. Moldy carpet means it fits right in your vehicle. Pre-cut, all you have to do is pick out the color, tell them to make of the car, go in there on Monday, order that carpet, Guess what? Towards the end of the week, they'll be calling you to pick it up. Go home, it will lay right in that car. Any type of car made, they have it right there at Auto Custom Carpet. Go by today or call and tell them Barry Miller from Big Boys Toys sent you by. You know, in the state of Alabama, one thing that better be working perfect is that air condition. For all of your central heating and air conditioning needs, contact Wayne Mazel at Mazel Heating and Air Condition here in Oxford. They are state certified, bonded, and insured. Wayne and his staff do service, installation, new construction, and that yearly inspection. You know, every time you get a yearly inspection on that air conditioning unit, they check the Freon and check everything out, and it saves on that power bill. So give them a call today at 835-0509. Tell them Barry Miller told you to call. <laughs> Next vehicle, Ed Dempsey, a 1952 Chevy pickup. Ed, welcome to Big Boys Toy. Y'all seen this truck about two years ago, but Lord have mercy at the work you've done. Tell me about your truck. Uh, it's a 52 Chevrolet with a 350 V8. And I think Terry Upton built the motor in it a long time ago. It's been 10 years since that truck was painted. Your and wife keeps it real clean. <laughs> yeah. I know that's her truck. <laughs> but I, I changed the wheels on it after I got it, or she did. She wanted Kragers instead of them rally wheels. I redone the inside of it, put some other stuff under the hood. You can sell rally wheels for enough to get you a set of Kragers. I don't know nobody want them, though. Everybody I talked to has been, I don't really like to have me a set of rally wheels. Well, I've got a set laying out there at the house. But they think, that they think they're gold nowadays. Yeah. But I moved the gas tank from behind the seat and put it in the back of the bed, underneath back there. Now, a lot of people do that. Why do they move that tank like that? Well, with the tank behind the seat, you get the gas fumes in the cab on the old, after they've been there for a while, I guess. You know, and back back in the 50s and the 60s, all the gas tanks was right behind the seat. Yeah. And, uh, you know, some people say, well, it's a safety factor. Well, they I lasted all what, this long. I forgot what year it was they changed them tanks and started putting them underneath. And then they had problems with that. I don't know where they put them now. Well, they... Uh, you know, so many people had them back then with the tanks like that, but they still run fine, and you know the fumes didn't bother them that much way back then. I reckon, but back then you didn't have air, you didn't roll the windows didn't up, didn't roll cruise, the windows up, cruise around. You had the windows rolled down, so you probably couldn't smell that gas no way. That one's got a '73 Camaro front end. It's been subframed. 
What made you pick the 52 pickup to fix up? Well, it was fixed up when I got it, but I just, the fella had it and wanted to sell it. And I was looking for one, and that was a better looking one. Is it the right place at the right time? The right place at the right time. I bought it off the street in Piedmont. Donald Goins at the truck. Now, what's some of the shows and all you go to? Well, I come to this one, and I didn't go to Janie Furnish last week. I had a water pump off of it. Make a, uh, Cancer, breast cancer benefit show in Gaston, which Classic Chevy puts that show on in October. Mm -hmm. And I've been down to Biloxi, Pigeon Forge. I didn't take the truck to Biloxi. We've been up Pigeon Forge, several different ones. And all the cruise ends. I see oh, all yeah, the cruise ends. Oh, yeah, go to all the cruise ends. I tell them, I tell, I've been telling anyway. people all day, go to the cruise end tonight because it's a good one. Yeah. We have a good time, got a money tree, we have we, a ball. We enjoy it. It's, uh, Good people at them, you don't meet no strangers. Yeah, right? and there's a lot of good people, they all that talking about cars, and you make a lot of friends. And yeah. Friends, and they've been here a long time, too. Yeah. Anything else you want to do to it? Well, not really, I don't guess. I, I want to put a fuel injection on it, but I'm going to have to wait a while on that. <laughs> she says no. Yeah. <laughs> you seen that? I seen that head going. This way. Now, no. Uh, I don't get no fuel. I don't think that means yes. Uh, uh -uh. Uh, not where I'm from, it means no. I don't know what it means around here. Yeah. See you, Jerry Carter. Jerry Carter's going to the house. They got a wedding to go to. Everybody got weddings to go Everybody to. Everybody's got to do it one time, you know. <laughs> he, he had to tap it one time just, just so you'd yeah. know. <laughs> Let me know he had the big motor in it. <laughs> yeah. So the fuel injection, she says no, but maybe in a while. Maybe in a while. <laughs> Now, what color, was it already painted this color? What yeah. color do you call it? It's 72 Chevrolet truck red. The boy in Gaston just painted it, or is in the process of painting a Camaro that color. Oh, okay. His wife seen it, liked it, and he's supposed to have the paint ordered for it. And it's a bright red, too. I mean, it's yeah. a pretty red. It's not, you know, it's a pretty red. Yeah. I like red anyway. So, like, so she's the one who picked out the Craig. Huh? Yeah. Mm. All right, y'all sitting around with them 50-50 tickets. Listen up. That's a lot of money, $346. I need that. Uh, she's drawing it again. Uh -oh. I tell you what, somebody bought a 50-50 ticket and left. I bet he's sick. I bet he is, too. <laughs> Especially if he's got that number and he finds out later he had it. I tell you what, good-looking vehicle. Appreciate you being on the show. We'll be right back with Big Boy Stories. We're going to see if we got that 50-50 pot. <laughs> Barry Miller from Big Boys Toys. You see the sponsors on this blackboard? These sponsors is what brings Big Boys Toys to you each and every week. If it wasn't for the sponsors and the car owners, you wouldn't be watching Big Boys Toys six, seven times a week there in your home. And it's a new show each and every week. We're getting our calendar ready for 2007 right now. If you've got a car show coming up and we're not booked that day, I'll try my best to be there. And if you want to be a sponsor of Big Boys Toys, give me a call today. 283-4404, Erico 256, and say, hey, I want to be a part of the number one show in Northeast Alabama. Next vehicle, 1931 Ford, Pee Wee Turner. Pee Wee, welcome to Big Boys Toys. Tell me a little bit about your car. Well, we, we've, had it, we've had it about 10 years now. Got 30-something hundred miles on it. It had 96 miles on it when I got it. It's been it's a national first place car. Now, where'd you where'd you find one with 31 miles on it? We had 96 miles. 96 miles. Found it in Birmingham, and I knew the man that restored it. He used to run a parts place, and he restored it out of out of new old stock parts. Uh -huh. And uh, he had everything new except a radiator, and I happened to have one of them, and I sold him the radiator for it. And he showed it, and it is a national first, but he passed away a few years ago, and I ended up buying it from his widow. It had 96 miles on it when I got it. It was already painted and everything. He had restored it, and you just bought it like it is. Yes, sir. Now, where all you take us to? I know you got several of them. Where all you take them to? Well, I take them to several car shows a year. I, I, I've got 350 something trophies. I've been showing cars since 1972. Yeah, someone was asking me how many old ones you got, and I said, I don't know, but one man has probably got more of the old cars than Pee Wee, and that's Roy Frost down yeah. in Pell City. And I said, yeah. Roy's got a ton of them. 
Yes, but sir. he's the only man that's probably got more old cars than Pee Wee Turner. We, we got plenty of them. These, you get on the road and drive these anywhere you want to go, Don. I mean, yes, you don't, probably don't drive to California or nothing, but like a show in Ohatchee or places like that, you'll drive the car. You won't Well, home. well we, we, uh, we go on the we, we go on a trip every year, the Antique Car Club does, and, and we uh, we went down in South Georgia last year, down at Roosevelt State Park and so on. And we drove it down there. First of all, what kind of motor's in this? It's, it's all original. So it's got a little motor. It's got a four-cylinder. So it run about 40 miles an hour, 45? Oh, it run 45, 55, 60. So it leads on once you get it moving. And, then we'll... oh, yeah. and this is actually the like the Cadillac of that year, right? The big car. You started a little bitty thing. Yes, sir. And I like the doors on it. Pee Wee come up this morning, he had the doors all zipped up, and I said, Pee Wee, what's wrong with you? He said, it's nippy I am. There you go. Ain't no heater in there, is it? No, sir. Well, you just get heat off the engine when it's closed up? You don't get closed up. So what you do when it's real cold? You just get cold with it. Because <laughs> back then they didn't have heaters. They didn't know what a heater was. Some of the Model A's had heaters, and I've got a Model A heater. How does it work? It works off of the manifold, and, and the fan blows the water, I mean, blows the air into the car. Off the manifold? Off the manifold. Does that get pretty warm, or is it? Oh, yeah, it gets warm. But you better be moving. That's right. <laughs> you better be giving it some gas and getting that manifold good and hot. Yes, sir. Anything else you're going to do to this one, or just? It don't need anything. That's a lot of driving and a lot of showing, that's, that's it. That's right. Tell you what, good looking vehicle, Pee Wee. Appreciate you being on the show. Yes, sir. We'll be right back. We got one a little bit newer, but it's still old, and it's a convertible, too. We'll be right back. RTL Printing and Sign, Pell City, Alabama. Randy Loverton and his staff can do any kind of printing or sign work you need, from business cards, letterhead. They do the big boy stories business cards. They do sign work on the outside of the building. He's got a saying, a business with no sign is a sign of no business. And he can do any type of sign, lit signs, you name it, Randy can do it. Banners, he does any type of banners and flyers for car shows, cruise ins, a little bit of everything. Give Randy and his staff a call today at RTL Printing and Sign at 205-338-9459. Nunley's Glass and Framing, Quintard Avenue, right across from Ron Newton. Tell you what, you guys with the old cars, any kind of windshields, he can get them. No matter what year it is, well, going back to the 50s, he can get your windshields. Tinted windows, he tints windows. He's really the glass man. He can do anything. The framing part comes in. You store fronts. He can replace the glass on the store fronts. He frames up the glass on the store fronts. He does about anything. He'll go to Pell City, Talladega. He'll go anywhere. Call him today. To call Guy today. Make sure you talk to Guy. Tell him Barry Miller from Big Boy Stories told you to call. You know, the most important decision you'll ever make in your lifetime is to purchase a home. And you want the most professional real estate agent in the business. Well, Charlotte Smith of Ghost Star Realty is that agent. Charlotte has helped several families and find, purchase their dream home. From listing, showing, to selling, Charlotte puts her clients first. And remember, no matter whose sign is in the yard of the dream home you want, you can contact Charlotte to professionally handle your purchase. Call Charlotte today at 256-282-0054. You know, your vehicle is a possession that everyone needs at all times for safe transportation, whether it be going to work, going to church, or just that family vacation. Friendship Automotive right here on Friendship Road in Oxford has the personnel with the experience to keep your pride and joy running smoothly. From brakes, tune-ups, shocks and struts, engine analysis, they're second to none in this area. They also specialize in electrical wiring on all makes of vehicles. Stop by and see Randy, Russell, or John today. Tell them Barry Miller sent you by. And then I said they're the best around when it comes to your vehicle. Looking for great savings on new and pre-owned cars and trucks? Then head on over to Ron Newton Pontiac Cadillac GMC. Our courteous and knowledgeable sales team is ready to show you our huge selection of cars and trucks at out-the-door prices. Don't settle for our competition's offer. At Ron Newton Pontiac Cadillac GMC, we're committed to sales, service, and customer satisfaction. So head on over to Ron Newton's. We'll treat you right. That's Ron Newton Pontiac Cadillac GMC, top of the hill, Quintard. Vehicle, 1967 Shelby GT350. I got that right. <laughs> Richard Bentley. Richard, welcome to Big Boy's Toys. <laughs> Thank you, Barry. These are another car. This is one of them. This is another car that's hard to find. Yes, yes it is. Uh, I found this in Sarasota, Florida two weeks ago. So we just got that one back. And it's a 350 body. 
somebody has, <laughs> when I talk to the guy and I talk to him and he calls, I talk to him and he says, well, you may not want this car, so it doesn't have the right motor in it. He said, the only problem with this thing, it's got the wrong motor in it. I said, what kind of motor it's got in? He said, it's a 427 2 4 side order. And I said, well, I think I can take care of that. Oh, I can take that motor out, not a problem. We need one of them anyway. Yeah, I need an extra one. <laughs> <laughs> need an extra motor in it. Now, did you paint it and all? Was it like no, that? No, it's just like I bought it. Just like I haven't done anything but watch wash this car. Now, we're going to, well, I've got a 289 hypo block and I got the head, so all I need is an intake and carburetor and we're going to put this in the back stock. So you're going to take that 427 we'll out? Take the 427 out and put a 289, what it's supposed to be in. And you said you like running that GT, how's that 427 run? Well, I don't know. We have got to tweak on it a little bit. It, it needs some work done on it. Uh, it runs good though. I mean, you know, Brittany, my granddaughter, says, Pop, I can't see. I like driving. This one's fast. See how it sounds? Sounds yeah. good. Sounds so. good. It's a whole lot louder than that, doesn't <laughs> yeah, it? Yeah, it's a lot louder. Now, yeah. all of, how many come blue Shelby's? You know, I haven't done a lot of research. Because I know you car. don't see a lot of blue Shelby's. No, you see, you see a lot green of ones, white ones, white ones and red, red ones. ones. Yeah. yeah. And never this is the, they made three colors of blues. This one's called the Midnight Blue Metallic. So, I don't know how many they really made. I've got to do some search on that. Uh, there's a company called Marty Reports that's got all of that, and I haven't sent off to get all of that yet. I'm going to start ducking every time that train comes by. That's in a little bitty car. I mean, that car up there ain't big. He's blowing it out of it. <laughs> I wonder where the rail yeah. tracks were. <laughs> yeah, I kept looking for There's no railroad track around here. That's why it got me worried there. I said, the train's way off now. <laughs> So what else you got to do this? Just switch your motor around? Just switch the motors mainly, yeah. Inter interior and everything's In fine? The interior's perfect, just like it's supposed to be. He has already restored the car. There's a lot of the undercarriage already been done, so it's it's pretty much perfect car. So actually, when that. you get one, you'll take it from top to bottom and do it the way you want it. Yeah, right? yeah, most of the time. Now, I've got a 65K car that's uh, 289 hypo. Same motor goes in this. We spent a year restoring it. We had to put pans and uh, build a motor and do the whole nine yards, but we didn't have to do this one. This one had already been. I tell you what, it's a good looking Mustang. It is. It's he a got a whole car. stable of Mustangs. I mean, <laughs> if you want to look at Mustangs, call him. He got a stable of them. And then if you get tired of looking at them, look at that little GT he's got. <laughs> we'll be right back with Big Boy's Toys. <laughs> Let me tell you about a new place right there, Emory Crossroads, exit 165 off of I-20, Lincoln, Alabama, Donna's Convenience Store and Jackson's Restaurant, both locations in one place. They got boat launch, they got storage for your boat. Restaurant, open just about all the time, 5 a.m. to 9 p.m., Monday through Saturday, Sunday 6 to 9 p.m. They have lunch specials each and every day. At night, you can get a steak, one of the best steaks around, right there at Jackson's Restaurant. Convenience store, got ice, cold beverages, also got that great Exxon gas. Stop by today or give them a call at 205-763-1455. Hey, buddy, this is Barry Miller. Let me tell you about a place that has 50 years combined experience in the following areas. Personal injury, bankruptcy, divorce, DUI, criminal defense, child custody, and even workman's compensation. I'm talking about Merle, Merle, Matthews, and Allen right here on Layton Avenue in Aniston. They have free consultation on personal injury cases. Contact Jake Matthews, Ronald Allen, or Stanley Allen at this firm, and they will give you the best legal advice around in this area. You know, they say that when you go to court, always take an attorney with you. Well, when you take one of these attorneys, you take the best. Give them a call today, 256-236-5063. Let me tell you about the best kept secret in Northeast Alabama. Sada Ridge Golf Club in Oxford, Alabama. It's one of the most beautiful golf courses you will ever play on. They have a pro shop with special prices on some of the most popular name brands of golf and equipment. With the banquet room and staff, they can also handle any time of golf tournament or just a corporate or small group function. Lonnie Reese, the PGA pro and manager, also has golf lessons for people of all ages. Call or visit Saddle Ridge Golf Club today. Tell them you heard about them on Big Boys Toys and receive a special discount on that next great round of golf. Big Cheese RV sells parts and service right here in the old Anniston Airport building. Anniston Airport Boulevard, Oxford, Alabama. I'll tell you what, any kind of camper, RV, motorhome, you name it, Eddie Brown and his staff have it. From Gulfstream, Timber Lodge, Four Trail, Genesis, they got all parts and accessories. Anything you need accessory-wise for your RV or your camper, they have it right there. Give Eddie a call today at 1-800-335-3617. Tell him Barry Miller from Big Boys Toys told you to call. Next vehicle, Billy Atwood, a 1966 Chevelle convertible. Billy, welcome to Big Boys Toys. What's your Thank name, you. young lady? 
Megan Crosby. Megan who? Crosby. Crosby. Megan Crosby. That Paul Paul. Mm-hmm. You gonna drive it? Well, you gonna get to drive when you get 16? What well, she says. She told me that a long time ago. And you've had the car a long time, so he'll probably still have it. No probably problem. will. Tell me a little bit about your Chevelle. Well, I changed it out uh, last last year. My brother-in-law, me and him, cuffed it up and painted it over, made something different, lowered it, put the spoilers on it. Uh, still got the 454 in it, the swivel and the four-speed. I kept it that way, but I just wanted to do a little change up and the way it was for 10 years, one color. So. Everybody seen it, everybody knew that car. Everybody knew the car. I told him, I said, I ain't seen you at the cruise in down Martins. We're down there every third Saturday. We've been this, there tonight. This, said, this first show I've been out in four years. So y'all actually did the paint job yourself? My brother-in-law did it. I helped him sand it down and all, but he painted it. Then uh, me and another friend pinstriped the flames off and took it back to him and he sprayed the flames on it. You got the 454 with the four speed. You've had it for a while too, haven't you? Uh, since 87. Since when you built it in 87. No, I, yeah, well, I put the motor in. It's an 87 uh, 454. I put it in in 87. Right. Brand new motor. And uh, four speed's been in it. I changed it over to an automatic for about two years. Then I went back to my four speed. I well, it's, like you don't drive them that much, but on the weekends when you want to drive them, yeah. you, you'd rather have a four speed than an automatic. Or you don't drive it every day to work. No, I, I'm a truck driver. I'm going during the week anyway. so. I only drive it on weekends. Now, what color is that? It's about the same color it was. Did you it's, change it's, up? No, it's the same color. It's crimson. It's a crimson uh, Ford red and pearl white. Flame. And everybody's looking at the swivel seats. You, you've had them in there for several years, too, haven't yeah. you? Yeah, I've had them. They came out with a 77 El Camino. And it actually swiveled in 77. Yep, and the Lagunas had them, too. The uh, 73 Lagunas had them. But it's uh, lowered the front end two inches, lowered the back end three, put them be a little closer to the ground. Mm -hmm. Now, where's something? This is this first show. You gonna go to more shows this year? Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping to get out more this year than I, than I did. You know, uh, something's always been coming up, keep me occupied. So, because I haven't been down here in three years. Now, when you lowered it, you can't tell it that much. Is it just is that for handling or? No, I can I can tell it because you can. I mean, the front end, you know, it's that much of a drop on that front end. I dropped it. That, I dropped a good three inches on the front. Now you've had a long time working on and off, and I was like I asked you like three years ago because it looked entirely different three years ago than it looks now. Oh yeah, because it's been three, maybe four years since you've been on. It's been a while. At least, at least four. And I was, I was looking at it and I said it's changed so much since the last time. What made you pick the Chevelle to begin with to work on? Actually, uh, I had a '64 Impala, and I was working on it, and I went to a junkyard and. That car just stood out. And I've had three other Chevelles, but I've always kept that one. But the other ones were hard top. This is the only convertible, and I just never let it go. It, was a, it was a hull. There was no motor, no transmission, no interior, no wheels and tires, just the hull. No top, nothing. And it just it grabbed my eye for some reason. I borrowed two tires, put on it. The steering wheel worked and the brakes worked. And I drove it home that way with a chain. Uh, this is where you could stop next, it. Next month, June the 11th, I've had the car 30 years. 30 years. 30 and years. you've redone it once. Oh, it's been redone several times. Several times. This had this is the fourth paint job on it. Fourth paint job and two interiors. Now, who did the interior the last time? Uh, this is still Lester, Lester Lockridge did this interior here. It's still the same. I haven't changed it. And because he actually took the swivel seats and put the 66 and all in there just to yeah. mold it to the car. Yeah. And all the chrome and all the motor, you've done all that yourself. Yeah. So you get to ride around cruise in the car, young lady? She's my cleaning crew. Oh, she helps clean the car. Yeah. Well, she's about right height where she can get that fender. She ain't even got to bend over. That's right. That's what she's for. Plus, I got to make her work for her opportunity to drive the car when she's 16. Yeah, but how old she, are you? Nine. You're going to have to work for seven more years to drive the car. <laughs> That's right. That's cheating. That, that grandpa's cheating right there. Seven years, you've got to work to drive the car. Hey, when you do drive it, remember, it's got a 454. If and when you do get to drive it, nail it. I mean, uh, nail it. Go through the gears. Practice when it's sitting there and not running. Just practice. She's got a little, she's got a little I'm sister. I'm to do it orange and blue, but he won't let me. He, he won't, won't let you blue. do it, huh? She's orange and blue, you know. Her mom was an Auburn fan. So. Oh, Lord, that's, that's bad. I know it. Tell you what, good looking vehicle, appreciate you being on the show. Why are you sitting there, ladies and gentlemen? I want to thank you for watching Big Boys Tours this week. We had a great time. And like I say, each and every week, remember these sponsors. If it wasn't for the sponsors on this backboard, you wouldn't get to watch Big Boys Tours each and every week. And the sponsors is what makes the show, plus all the car owners. So tune in next week. We'll have a great show. Tell everybody goodbye. See you later. We'll okay. see you next time on Big Boys Tours. <laughs>